live from the Moscone Center in San Francisco, California. It's The Cube at AWS Summit 2015. Welcome back everyone. We are live here in San Francisco for Amazon Web Services Summit. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events, extract the signal noise. I'm John Furrier, founder of SiliconANGLE. I'm my co-host, Mark Farley, and our next guest is Scott Hedrick, who's the Director of Strategic Services Marketing at Informatica. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, thank great, you for having great, me. Great to see you. So Informatica Cloud has been involved with, with Amazon a bit. You guys have some stuff to talk about here. Um, Absolutely. The cloud is the movement from on-prem to cloud, but not exclusively. It's not well, binary, as Andy Jassy said. No, exactly, it's hybrid. And there's the explosion of different hybrid patterns, as Andy talked about today. And Informatica has been working with AWS for a few years now on our, our Informatica Cloud, which is a SaaS service for data integration, quality, master data management. And it has connectivity to a bunch of the key Amazon services, like uh, Redshift and S3 and EC2. And today what we announced is a new dimension of our kind of hybrid strategy, which is to bring uh, some of our, our key on-premise traditional software products onto AWS. And so what that means is that customers that are using Power Center, our big data edition on Hadoop, data quality, or our data exchange, can now install those products running on AWS just as they would in an on-premise server, and they uh, get the same support, they have the same licensing, and it adds a lot of flexibility and agility. So what is the number one concern from the roadmap that customers want to move from the enterprise? Because we're seeing that there's a pretty much a no-brainer that that's a, there's, there's going to be a transition. Yeah. That's pretty much a done deal, and it's a reality. But it's, <laughs> it's not like tomorrow I do it. So there's a roadmap and there's a path. Absolutely. Um, what is that path? There's a lot of moving parts. There's obviously a network, it's a full stack of movement, and then you got a workload on top of it that could have a variety of different workloads within a workload. Yeah. It sounds complicated, but it is. What's your take on that? And with customers who are taking that journey to have that hybrid, what, what's your view on that? Well, I mean, there's some companies that are really jumping in and saying cloud first. But even the cloud first companies aren't 100% on the cloud. In this, there are startups, right? That there are traditional companies that are putting all their new systems or trying to migrate as much as they can to the cloud. Um, and of course we can support them in that. So if they're running some of our software to do data integration, to do data movement, and you know, Informatica has connectors and parsers for hundreds of data types. Basically anything from mainframes and SAP apps, relational, unstructured, specialized structure. You can bring all those in and process them through data integration and quality and mastering to prepare that data for analytics. And so many of these systems are now running on-premise in somebody's data center, and they're pointing at, it, say, a traditional data warehouse. And what people can do is the first step, they can redirect some of those workloads and that cleansed great data and point it up to AWS to, say, do analysis in, in Redshift. Um, then, as they want, they can move more and more of that data pipeline into the AWS cloud. So they can, they can start by tr you know, targeting things, maybe they can do storage and they have a mix of data that's up in the cloud. Some of the, the data will be on premise. They can either combine it on premise and move it to the cloud, or they can move it to the cloud and then do the processing there. We had Matt Wood on earlier, uh, chief data scientist uh, for Amazon. Yes. And uh, do, you see, do you see the uh, uh, machine learning as being a driver, if you will, for your application? Absolutely. And, and we, we have a lot of, uh, one of the fastest growing businesses for Informatica is our big data business. So around, yeah. we have a, a whole suite of products that run on top of Hadoop to do data quality, data integration, do mastering, to do profiling, all of this running natively on each node in a, in a Hadoop cluster. And so we see a lot of these customers, once they bring the data in there, they want to do some machine learning to get some initial insights to prepare for, say, uh, their, their end analytics results. Yeah, and one of the points he brought up is that typically within the data center there are constrained resources for, for doing machine learning. It's, it's hard to, you know, it's, it's hard to really get it done if you don't have enough CPU power available to do it, right? Absolutely. So, so the availability of on-demand 
CPU, the uh, on-demand processing in AWS, would allow somebody to use your product with Hadoop or whatever to, you know, get the get the uh, get the resources to bear to get the job done. Absolutely. I would I would assume that would open doors for you. Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. I mean, to get a, a thousand node Hadoop cluster is non-trivial on premise, right? Yeah, to totally. order all the systems, set it all up, configure it. But if you can spin it up in Amazon, it's a, it's a much more flexible approach. Either, either to do prototyping or to actually run into production. Uh, it's, a great way, it's a great way to expand your, your existing customer base with a new capability that, yeah, it was available, but might not have been necessarily practical. Yeah, well, well what we find too is, you know, if you use some of the, the, you can use scripting and hand coding to move data, do some transformation, but once you get into very sophisticated data management, it can become very brittle and complex to hand code it all. And that's really where Informatica comes in, is we've got the greatest breadth of support of the, the different sources of data, the types, and everything you do with Informatica is all visual. So you don't have to write any code that means it's very easy to repurpose a data pipeline that you're running on premise and repurpose that and run that in the AWS cloud. Yeah, so you get the best of both worlds. You've got the agility of moving in the cloud fast. Yes. And you've got the pipelining, which is like, it doesn't sound, sounds crude, but it's the plumbing. You get some work involved, engineering, some big time you know, engineering involved in data pipelining, as well as other subsystems that go on. Is that right? Did I get that right? I mean, so is that how you Absolutely. see your customers using that? Absolutely. And so, you know, we have more than 5,500 customers around the world that rely on Informatica to give them great data, to take the data from wherever it sits and bring it together, cleanse it, and stage it for operations and analytics. And uh, we also have the ability to show them that full data pipeline, show that end-to-end -end lineage as say data comes from a, a source systems in Hadoop or on the web or in Salesforce and loading into being transformed, cleansed, subsetted, and then uh, prepped for some analytics, say on Redshift or Tableau or, or, or another analytics system. They can go look at that data and trace back the lineage field by field where it came from, which is critical for compliance. So talk about Informatica world coming up. Yep. Uh, what's, what do you guys expect there? I want to kind of get your thoughts on that to end as we get running out of time. You get, you know, last time we were at Amazon, we pulled the plug. Literally, they pulled the plug <laughs> um, on us. We stayed on until they, they kicked us off. But I want to get your take before we, we close out. Absolutely. Informatica world's coming up. There's been some news in the, and there's been rumors uh, <laughs> about a private equity thing has been announced. Uh, what's going on? Well, give us a state of, 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 of what's going on inside the company. Yeah. Are people excited, confused, happy, sad, not knowing what's going to happen? I mean, Dell went private, yeah. um, so it's not bad. I mean, it's all good. Uh, where, I, are we, where are we? I think we're business as usual. And so for us, you know, nothing has actually happened. The transaction hasn't closed. And you know, as you said, everything is trade-offs. And I think that, that the investors that are investing in Informatica, they share our vision, and this vision that we'll be sharing in Informatica uh, world about the areas of growth that we're focused on. You know, we're focused on big data, on the cloud, on mastering data, um, all of, uh, and how to power data pipelines to provide great quality data for analytics. You know, all of those things, none of that changes at all. And you know, the Informatica world is a great way to bring the Informatica ecosystem together and talk about where we're going and get us all aligned. So we got a little crowd chat commentary coming in. So got <laughs> got I got to ask it uh, from the crowd. Thanks for go to crowdchat.net, Amazon, AWS Summit. Um, question for you. This is a good question. I love this because if you just the last comment kind of stoked the fire. How does Informatics tackle real-time ETL, Informatica. Yes. How does Informatica tackle real-time ETL? Because we just brought up data pipelining, moving to cloud for agile. Does this fit into that? I mean, oh, absolutely. So. so Informatica has really pioneered what people used to call ETL, now we tend to call data integration. It's become a lot more than just ETL. That's you know, one pattern of moving and transforming data. But you know, what, what, what is this, um, we really um, can, can bring this together. Um, uh, um, <laughs> I, I'm so, so, so what specifically was the, the question? question was, about? How does Informatica tackle 
oh. real, real time ETL. So the real time, yeah, sorry, the, there are a few things that we have. Um, Power Center is our, our kind of flagship uh, data integration product that we've been developing for more than 20 years. And Power Center does have real time capabilities, so it's not just batch. So you can run real time um, data integration there. We also have um, Vibe Data Stream, which is built on the fastest messaging system in the world called Ultra Messaging, which powers a lot of hedge funds, currency trading, um, and this very high speed messaging can deliver the data from a variety of sources and write it directly into HDFS or traditional file systems. It can also deliver it right into a CEP engine, our com complex event processing. That way you can have this lambda architecture, which is kind of all the rage. So you can write data directly for longer term storage, and then in parallel, you can take some, make some quick decisions and kick off workflows or alerts based on uh, anomalies or certain conditions you've identified in the data. And back to the Informatica world question, what's going to be the theme? You mentioned you kind of address the whole business as usual at the whole hasn't been closed, nothing's been closed, until the, nothing's done until the deal is signed. As I always say, Informatica world, what are we expecting to see there? What kind of themes, what's, yep. the, what's the big, what's the big uh, overarching pillars? Well, there's certain areas we're focused on. One is analytics, and although we're not an analytics company, we provide that full data pipeline to prepare the data for analytics. So that's one area. It's a big part of it. It's a huge part of it, right? Um, and another area we're focused on is uh, cloud modernization and how people are want to integrate all the SaaS apps they've built up, you know, Salesforce and Concur and NetSuite, and bring those into their, their architecture, right? Bring that data in, use it for analysis, so that whole cloud modernization. Also, uh, app consolidation and migrations, companies that are moving from some system to another. Maybe they want to move from SAP to Oracle or vice versa, or they want to move some of their data warehouse to HANA. Uh, from a traditional system. All of these can be enabled by Informatica. Um, and, and you know, those are some of the key areas that we're focused well, on. Well, we'll be there. How we can, we can uh, you know, help customers to do this in a very uh, agile and manageable way. Well, we'll be there at the queue, so we're going to be yep. breaking it down. It's going to be fantastic. Um, and we've got the big data event going on in New York City, so I want to ask yes. you, you know, we do two events now, Silicon Valley and New York City around capital markets. New York's kind of like the Wall Street, sure. you know, public companies. Silicon Valley's more of the startups. What's your take on the innovation strategies of the two kinds of profile companies? The bigger growing public companies are almost public, pre-IPO, and the startups. You're seeing a lot of action on both fronts. What's your take on your observations in those two markets? Absolutely. Where's the innovation coming from and what are they doing? I think it's coming from all over the place in different ways. And so, you know, the startups are kind of starting from scratch. They're trying to really disrupt. But we've got a lot of customers that are trying to, to kind of disrupt themselves. They're trying to do, do, do things themselves. Companies like uh, Intuit and Western Union, they're using Informatica to kind of put big data to work in new ways to, to be able to, to manage and look at much larger quantities of data than they've traditionally been able to do, as well as bring in new data types and be able to take those new data types, whether they're social or machine data or web logs, and combine them together with their traditional like relational data or transactional data to get new insights or put new operational systems in place. And so we're, we're very focused on, on helping these large companies. And I think one of the differences, and the reason that so many big companies come to Informatica, is the startups may have patience for hand coding people, uh, hand coding everything and hiring developers to, to, to write everything from scratch. And for big companies, we had, we had a really interesting comment from one of our customers who's, who's in the automotive business, let's say, in the web. And they said that they, their dev team first wanted to hand code everything. They said, oh, well, we're using Hadoop. We can just write pig and hive and we, we can hide everything. And their, their development, the, the management team yeah, said. one guy quits, just, it's all down yeah, in a hand basket. That's exactly what I said. Oh, so oh, so the, their, their management team turned to them and said, okay, so that means you will be on call 24-7, 365, <laughs> forever on these systems. Because if anything goes wrong, you're the only ones that know how to fix it and how it was built. And they said, oh, 
let's let's buy a tool. Let's That's go not with too cool. That's not too cool. Yeah. Being on vacation, handling that stuff every day. No, seriously, it's a big issue. Absolutely. Scalability of no yep. continuous operations. And and if you're Twitter or Facebook, you can probably get somebody who has a very is young and has a very free life. It doesn't mind being call on call all the time. Well, that's where that's where Amazon has their little <laughs> issues, and this has come up on on our previous Cube gigs, where every startup, like you talked about, Twitter, Link, and Link, no, well, Twitter, Zynga, ones that I know for sure, Pinterest, they all grew up. They had to re-architect everything. Yes. So you hit a point of like, we can't do this anymore. We got to build a scalable platform. But that's 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 what they're trying to solve. It looks Absolutely. Like. So you know, I, I would I would kind of give them a ding on that three years ago that you couldn't do a full stack on the Amazon. You get some good rent, rent some, I call it the junkyard cloud, if you will. Yeah. Uh, but they've certainly professionalized the hell out of it the past three years, so. Um, Absolutely, yeah, you have fantastic. all the richness of the AWS yeah. services, and now you can bring all the traditional enterprise software, things like yeah. Informatica, to run right on AWS. It's, it's well beyond make, roll your own cloud. Yep. This is like real scalable software, so. Absolutely, and you can pick and choose where you want to run it, how quickly you want to embrace the cloud. Well, Scott, looking forward to seeing you at Informatica World. It's going to be fantastic uh, in, in uh, Las Vegas. The Cube will be there. Uh, Scott Hedrick uh, with uh, Informatica. I'm John Furrier with Mark Farley. We'll be right back after this short break. More action here at Amazon Web Services Summit live in San Francisco. We'll be right back. <laughs>